Well, hello, uh, welcome to the channel. My name is Johnny and you're watching Hillbilly Modeling and it's time for a new project. And as you guys know, I like to go ahead and do an inbox kit review on everything that I build. That way you guys get a look at it if you haven't uh, got to see what's inside the box. And um, then we go ahead and do a build series on it. So our next project is going to be by Ravel. And this is the U.S. Navy Swift Boat, and it's in 172 scale, and the box tells us that it has 93 parts, and we're at 21.3, yeah, 21.3 centimeters in length, I think that's the length of the boat <laughs> when done, uh, and not the box. Um, this is uh, Kit number 05176, and uh, it was released in 2021. So let's jump down in on, onto the bench here and uh, take a look at what's in the box. So before we get inside the box here, let's see if I can get rid of that glare. There we go. I thought I could prop that up. Uh, this is the back side of the box. Now these are one of those end opening boxes. So uh, what we have is Ravel has provided us with a uh, picture of the built up model. And we have some nice close ups here um, of the, uh, the pilot house and uh, our rear armament. Uh, inside and the rear uh, section of the vehicle, the stern. Uh, also, uh, it shows us uh, basically what's supposed to be inside here uh, with uh, looks to be two sprues and uh, a deck and the uh, hull itself. And of course, uh, Ravel gives us this color code with the Ravel paint numbers on them, right? And these are the recommended paints that uh, they say that you should use in order to get a realistic looking uh, uh, model. So the next thing to do uh, is let's just dump everything out. I thought that little cup was going to help me, but it didn't. <laughs> uh, there we go. And that is, that's everything. So this is how they have packaged it. It looks like we have our deck and our hull uh, wrapped up in a single plastic bag. And then we have our other two sprues bagged together. And then we have our instructions and something sticking out here. We'll get to those instructions later or sooner. So let's just let's just go ahead here and look at uh, what we got. This, since I've got it in my hand, we'll take a look at that. Uh, probably a better way to do this. Yeah, we'll do this. There we go. All right. So these are the the windows, and is a clear plastic film, and you can see that it's flexible. And apparently we have to cut these out. So we're going to need a sharp pair of scissors for that. And they're all numbered uh, so that we can find their location. So that's nice, I guess. <laughs> so we're not dealing with clear plastic parts, but we're dealing with that thin film. And here are our decals or decals if you prefer. And as you can see... Uh, pretty standard Ravel affair. They do have kind of a matte finish on them, and they don't appear to be way, you know, too thick. Uh, got our flag and our different numbers, so. And that's our uh, decal sheet, so that's nice. We also have... A sheet here with different uh, languages on it. USA warning. So that's pretty much the standard. Not suitable for children under three years of age. And we have multiple languages in that. And then we got our instructions. I think maybe uh, it'd probably be a good idea for us to go through, through the instructions first. 
that way, as we're looking at the parts, uh, we might be able to <laughs> figure out right away uh, where everything goes. So let me clear this bench off and then we'll get to that. So here are instructions and Ravel has provided us with a color booklet and it is stapled. And we've got the uh, nice picture of a completed uh, Swift boat, U.S. Navy Swift boat Mark One, and please note the enclosed safety advice. And this is Ravel of Germany, and it says that it is a level four. So if you guys are familiar with uh, skill level ratings for Ravel, then uh, it's not expert, but for some reason they've decided that a kit with 93 parts you need to be a pretty well experienced modeler to build. And you have the standard stuff here. Uh, I won't explain every single thing, but uh, as Ravel normally does now in their new kits, um, recommended tools, of course, uh, read your instructions, uh, part location, recommended tools, and then uh, they tell us how to uh, prepare our model washing it, painting, cutting parts off, so on and so forth. Even the decals are listed there. And then we do have our legend to tell us the different things to do, uh, such as drill holes or uh, uh, illustration of an assembled part, uh, glue this, don't glue that, paint that, so on and so forth. And then also... Uh, they give us recommendations here. I'll zoom in for that. Okay, so uh, they recommend you use decal set, recommended for fixing your decals, and they also recommend to fix your clear parts uh, with this um, something clear. I can't. I can't really read it. What does it say? Con. Contact to clear, so clear cement or glue. Now we're just going to go through real quick here. Here's here's our colors that we were talking about before. Uh, the only thing is, I uh, will go ahead and note that uh, Ravel oftentimes wants us to mix colors, and they will give you your ratios. Um, so a 1901 is 95 and 5% of the colors. And as you can see right here, as an example, to get color A, they want you to mix 60% uh, color 79 and 40% 302. And then whenever you have this A color call out, <laughs> was a lot of C's in that sentence, isn't it? Uh, uh, that would be the mixture that you would use to uh, get the color. And then all the colors are laid out like that. There we go. We're zoomed back out. Moving on, we do have uh, basically our sprue map. So we have our A sprue, B sprue, and these are good for locating parts in the event that you're having trouble to find it. There's so few parts, we probably won't have that kind of issue. Um, also, we have our lower hull, our deck, and those clear parts that we looked at earliest, or earlier. And um, as you can see here, they're recommending, you can see right there, you got to cut these out so they're not pre-punched for us. And next page here. So as you can see, they give us our color code out, uh, color call outs. <laughs> so uh, for painting, what colors they want you to paint it uh, and put it together. And attachment of the uh, stern hull parts. And then we have our rudder and our props and shafts. And then we start building up the interior and installing those. 
So they have packed uh, a fair amount of detail in the vessel for us. And with those nice clear windows, and we don't have to worry about the, uh, uh, you know, how these clear parts can be uh, kind of wavy. You know, you can't really see very clearly through them. Probably uh, these film type uh, windows will be able to actually see inside these much better. I think it's what I'm trying to say. So, fire extinguishers. Now, they got real good call-outs here on how to paint all this. Just do it this way. There we go. So that you know what, uh, say, the fire extinguisher is supposed to look like. And then we got the build-up of our cabin, installation of our windows. Uh, let's see, instrument uh, instrumentation and where the helm is. Pretty typical, uh, very similar to how the uh, PT-109 was built up in the instructions. More call-outs here for the roof section, showing it upside down. And then we have... Um, for our superstructure, the sides, attachment of those parts. So this is all pretty straightforward. And again, we have really nice color code out, color co call outs. <laughs> I'm having trouble with that today, aren't I? Uh, to show us how to paint up everything. Uh, ammunition belts being painted different color there. So very very in-depth instructions I think looks really good and you're really getting down to the nitty-gritty here adding all the uh, the little details and uh, life preservers and, and what have you so yeah and here's our rear deck gun and we also have our air defense or fire suppression machine guns there. They should be twin 50s. Very nice. Looks like we have radar. And railings to install. So I'm really interested in looking in depth here at what the detail is on these railings because a lot of times a lot of guys take and replace railings but if they're really nice then uh, we'll go with the kit part of course. My intention is to build this straight out of the box so you'll see exactly what these look like uh, built up. And then we have our different versions here. Um, this is uh, PFC-103 Coastal Squadron 1, uh, South Vietnam, 1967 through 70. That's a nice dark color. I kind of like that. I like that color. Then we have the real light navy gray. This vessel 66 through 70 in South Vietnam and then we have another one here South Vietnam 1965 through 70. Uh, this is a dark color too so very nice. Very well laid out where all your uh, decals go and where like um, for painting our water line and everything shouldn't be able to I shouldn't be able to mess that up too bad so it's very clear very clear and that's it for the instructions so let's take a look at our sprues all right, so first up, uh, we're going to take a look at the hull here. Now, this is the way it came together in the uh, in the plastic. And we'll take a look at the deck first here. So we do have where they have uh, broken it off from the factory from the sprues, which will have to be cleaned up. And I don't know, can you see down in here, there's a little lip... So those will have to be cleaned up, and I guess it's from where the mold was pulled away, but that's not that big of a deal, really. But all of them seem to have that on the front, too, there. You can see that. Whoops. 
There we go. So that'll sand away easily. So, uh, yeah, we've got some uh, traction. It, looks, it appears to be like a traction pattern here. And we got a little bit of hinge detail and some weld detail. Oh, no. I guess these are engine panels. Not a lot of detail on that deck. But these boats, I don't guess, had a whole lot of detail on them. So that's okay. There is a color discoloration here in the plastic, but that's not going to matter because we're going to paint everything anyway. A little bit of flash there. So a little bit of sanding up, a little bit of some rough edges here and there, but that's, that's not a big deal. So there's the deck. And then here's the hull. I don't see any real blemishes or anything on this. It's molded very nicely. One thing I do see, though, is on the bow here. This is where there should be an eyelet, I think, right there. So uh, to increase your uh, realism, you probably want to drill that out. And I think there's one here on the, uh, on the stern as well. And then we have our exhaust flaps and stuff here. Nice detail. Now, one thing that I do love... If I can get the right angle here, there we go, maybe. There is a really fine line here that runs. This is our water line. They have molded in the water line. You can see it there. So that'll make it really easy to mask off and to get your water line correct for the hull. So that's nice. Not much else there. That's, that's it. And it's got a really nice fit, even though we haven't cleaned anything up. So, should be easy to work with. Next up is sprue A. So, for our superstructure, we have the uh, left and right sides here with all the windows in them. See those. And also our roof section. Roof slash upper deck area. We've got our helm. This is our rear gun mount. It's got a little bit of flash on it. Uh, this is the uh, ammunition storage on the rear deck or the fantail instrument cluster there have our lifeboat it's got some really nice detail there one of our hatches or door we also have life preservers here's the rear gun I think we got a little sink mark there Pretty easy to take care of. Now these air intakes here, if you can see that, it looks a little smashed there on the right. I don't think it was any problem with the uh, with the actual mold. It's probably just handling and storage. So we'll have to fix that. That shouldn't be any problem. Got our anchors there. Here's the railings. Goes from, the, what is it, about midship back to the fantail. And we got some steps. Seats. All in all, not too bad. Flip it over. So we do have... Lots and lots of ejector pin marks. Now this is the roof section. It's probably never going to be seen, uh, but you might want to fill those. And let's see, probably inside here as well. 
You can see all these injector pin marks here. Quite a few. This one's proud, so that'll be easy to take care of. It's the sunken ones that usually <laughs> cause the most trouble. Uh, so you can see they, there's quite a few there. To be expected, though, I guess. So that's uh, sprue A. Next up is sprue B, right there. And we have, these go inside the vessel. Uh, it has a sink, countertop, here's our cabinets, very nice. Uh, these are the vents on the back of the main cabin. And we also have uh, this part of the superstructure where the twin 50s are mounted. We also, let me flip this around here. The mast is made onto it. We have a searchlight. And we also have our fire extinguishers. See them there. I think these are the rudders. This is the front portion of the superstructure with the windshields. These are some real fine, I, I kind of like these, the, it's not too bad. Um, these are the uh, railings. I believe these go up on the upper deck area. Here's our propellers. And you can see that there there is some flash there. Very minimal flash, but like uh, these tie points here. Uh, that these these go on the deck, and this is what you put your ropes around to hold it to the dock, or if you're maybe taking something in tow. Uh, there is flash there on the pins, so very minimal though. It's not that big of a deal. Here we have the, I think these are the main cabin uh, doors at the pilot house. And we also have our stand, it's a one piece stand. So we'll flip it over and again, we have our, um, let me get over here where you can see me. Uh, the injector pin marks there and then it appears to be large injector pins in the floor of the main cabin. And you got the same thing on the uh, the rear cabin wall there. At least we don't have any those ejector pin marks on the doors. We won't have to fool with that. That's good. And I guess this is the twin machine gun. Put it back over where we can see if there's any different detail on it. Not a lot of detail, but it is 172nd scale, so not bad. Looks pretty good. Ought to be a fun kit to uh, to assemble. All right, so uh, that is our Ravel 172nd scale U.S. Navy Swift Boat Mark One. Um, should be a lot of fun to put together. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Special thanks to. Uh, all of my subscribers, it's because of you guys that I keep making these videos, and I hope you enjoyed this one, and look forward to the build that's coming up next. And if you're not a subscriber, I uh, hope today I earned a subscription. So, till next video, you guys stay safe.